new project today. I'm going to be working on this little giraffe I have here. So, although I'm still looking for all the little bits and pieces I need, it calls for a 3mm hook, and I'm having trouble finding my hooks. So, um, you guys are going to hang out with me while I still look for these, uh, these pieces I need. Uh, I did go out and get some smaller hooks the other day, so I've got to figure out which ones are which. 3.25 and 1.6. I don't think I have anything in between those. Also 1.7. They look like a lot of the um, roomy patterns are with really tiny hooks that I don't have. And this one's a 3.5. So I guess I'll work with a 3.25. But yeah, I went out and actually got new hooks the other day. I have the I have a bad habit of leaving them like stuck in a project if the project's only oh wait, I have another hook over here. Good lord. Um if I have a project that's partially done. This one is probably this one. What size is this? Another 3.5. Okay, so. Um, so then I'll have my partially finished projects that have the hooks captive with them. Um, and then if I lose the partially finished project, another one that I just have no idea where it went, um, then it uh, just kind of disappears. Luckily, though, hooks are relatively inexpensive. 3.25. I will be using the 3.25 today, even though the pattern calls for a 3.0 hook. Um, I've added a new command in the chat. Fill out my first command. If you want to hit uh, or type in exclamation point pattern, you can take a look at the pattern I'm using. Actually, I will put that information on the screen, too. I will edit that. Of course, I put my keyboard away in order to do that. Whoa. Whoa, thank you. On this one, I found on Ravelry, but the pattern itself. Uh, is actually on a, uh, what is it, a Blogspot blog. So while I found it on Ravelry, it is accessible outside of it. Cotton and acrylic yarns. They used a couple different types of yarns with slightly different thicknesses, which is exactly what I will also be doing. And they said it still turned out okay. I'm pulling up a bunch of the different yarns I'm hoping to use here. So make two of the arms. Near the end, lightly stuff. Change color every two rows. So she had orange, I have an orange, and a blue, and a pink, and a tan. I don't have a tan yet. I'm going to have a whitish that'll be for the ends, unless that's what she's talking about. No, she actually has a different tan color. Okay. We'll keep that as a placeholder. Tan. Green. Light pink, so we can switch these pinks. Light pink. Brown and purple. Well, I have a purple, but I don't, so I need a tan and a brown. Yeah, she definitely has two different colors there, so I'm missing two colors. I just pulled out a bunch out of my stash. Um, oh, you can't even see all of them. Okay. That's my placeholder. Pink, purple, and these are for the ends. Brown, purple. Yeah, she didn't actually say she used a different color for the ends, but if you look at the picture, her, the hands, the nose, the feet, and the ears are all this like white, creamy, grayish color. 
red, brown, brown, tan. Yeah, so she just found a bunch of colors. I don't know how many total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a red. So I need a tan, a brown, a red, a yellow, light pink, purple, light green. This will be my purple, tan, blue. This will be my blue. Pink, orange. Okay, orange, pink, and light pink. Alright, well, I will just use a regular red because that's within arm's reach of me. But it looks like I need to go find a tan and a brown. Okay, my yarn is right behind me. Um, I will put up a note saying... Hit it. Getting more colors. Hopefully this uh, is probably too big for the screen. Or it's not big at all. That. That's better. All right, so I will be right back. Red, tan, brown, okay. Okay, so we have the tan, we have the brown, and the red, it's on another section. So, so this is a lot of yarn. I mean, I had a, I've gotten my yarn through eBay lots, which is, you know, some, some people's random stashes of yarn and it's relatively good deal, so I go ahead and I get that. Pink, tan, you guys can't see the brown, there we go. So yeah, this is a lot of yarn. 
Um, and the pattern usually only ca is calling for two rows of each color, so it's going to be pretty insane with the, uh, the color changing. So, here we go. And it starts with... It starts with the arms. A tiny, tiny hook. Actually, I do need to also change the title of this. Because we're not doing the uh, Florida thing anymore. The Florida thing is finished, yay! Crochet. Starting a giraffe. And update. Excellent. Alright. So if any of you guys said anything in the chat, I'm very sorry. I would have missed it. Um, so we will begin with the pattern. Uh, pattern is by I Love Buttons by Emma. And as I said, if you hit pattern in chat, it should, um, my little bot should uh, let you know that it's what where, where to find it. Crochet, strip in, cotton acrylic yarn. Alright. Oh, she does say right here, in white. Alright, this is my white. Oh, good lordy, so many colors. Oops, and I can't lose my scissors. Scissors are going to be a very important uh, feature in this... Uh, this particular one has so many color changes. Alright, so white, orange, oh, I already put that one. Blue, pink, brown is on the next, no, which one's on the next one? Red. Red. Ah, uh, it's just starting with such a large number of yarns in front of me is daunting. Alright, so we'll go ahead and create our slip stitch. I, she says to chain two and then six, however, I think what I've been doing, I really prefer the magic ring. So I'm going to chain six into the magic ring instead. Uh, the magic ring is great for Amigurumi uh, because it creates a tighter space, a, t a little tighter hole. Uh, so when you go to close it off, it, uh, it, there's this hole in there. That's one. That's two. This is three. This is honestly going to be my first very tiny project. I, I say very tiny, it's not even a steel hook. Um, I mean, I like doing my projects where I can see what's going on. Um, a lot of Amigurumi is, it, I've, I've done it slightly bigger. Um, this is this is going to be difficult for me to see, difficult to get in there. The, uh, the worsted weight yarn is a little too big for the hook. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge there. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and here's number six. And also, the to me, from my experience, the magic ring is a lot less stressful of a way to start something. Um, when you have to start with the foundation chain, it just it just seems to get super tight. All right. Two in each stitch around. Okay, so we're going to pull this slightly closed. Not all the way closed yet. It'll be hard to actually get the hook in there and the yarn through. But now we're doing two in each stitch around. One and two. And this is the first little paw we're making. Actually, hoof? Giraffes don't have paws, they have hooves. So, let me 
separate out my pattern from my chat here. That way I can uh, make sure I don't miss anything. I still need to get a little more smooth with that. And, um, all right. Pause from Do not pause. They're hooves. They're little hooves. They're going to be super tight. One and two. Poke it in there for two. Oh man, you know what? I forgot to turn the AC again. I will be right back so I get that on because already it's getting really hot. It's 11 o'clock. AC is on. Unfortunately, this is going to be a somewhat short stream today. I have an interview. Yay, interview. So, um, around 12, I'll be cutting this off. Uh, I need to be out the door. Uh, it's kind of far away, and the job would be kind of far away, but I need a job. It's at a great place, so... I'm willing to do that for a bit. Uh, I just hope, uh, reading the job announcement, I got the feeling that they're going to try and lowball on, a, pri on a, a rate. But that could just be me, you know, projecting. I mean, right now working for minimum wage or a certain... I have a number in my head. <laughs> Let me put it that way. And working for under that number, I think, would be really bad. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I next stitch so last one where I put two in. Ellie's just expensive in general, so trying to um having a fifteen dollar minimum wage in LA I don't think would be unheard of. Alright, so single change two, single crochet one, and then two in the next stitch. Repeat six times. So I'm doing every other one. Okay, so we'll do one. And this is where I should start using stitch markers. It's especially important in the very beginning to use the get to the proper number number of stitches. Man, I'm working on so many projects, I'm almost out of stitch markers. I know I gave two of them away. One of them is kind of is my zipper pull. Uh, two of them are on my kitty project right now. And I must have another project I had them on. I mean, I finished the slouchy hat. And I would have put those back in here. But again, like the hooks, they just kind of disappear. Alright, so... This is where I left off. Actually, I need to put one stitch in first, so I can put in the right one. So single crochet one. Alright, and now I can put it in the correct one. Just need to kind of move it out of the way. And if it's this one. Okay, and then one, two. And then one, and then two, And one. And two. 
Row three. Four. No. Uh, so I'm going to say 18. So one in each round. One in each row. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, you know, I thought that I didn't put two in that last one. So sixteen. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, and the next one, seventeen, eighteen. to the same one, and then it's single crochet round one, so I will put, oh, I need to get all pieces of the yarn, and then the stitch marker goes here. I hope you guys can hear me through the mumbling of when I have the stitch marker in my mouth or whatever. Oh, crap. Okay. Now one in each one around. Man, I'm, so this is a 3.25 hook, and it's already kind of small. I can feel my hand cramping up just a little bit. I mean, one, these are really tight, so I'm, I'm holding on to it, trying to put it in, you know, really tightly. I'm like, but number two, like, I, I barely started. Um, actually, I wonder, I have this other set of crochet hooks I kind of keep forgetting about. I wonder if there's a 3 millimeter one in here. That's a 2.5 and a four. So somewhere there's probably a three. What's this one? 2.0. So I do have some smaller ones, but I'm missing my three and 3.5. I need to just put all my hooks together, uh, get them out of my projects, or just finish my projects. It might be the one I'm using on the crocheted kitty. That's probably where my, my three millimeter hooks went. I think this white yarn I'm using actually came from a stash my grandma gave me. Oh man, when she found out that I was crocheting, I don't even know where she got it. I didn't even know she had yarn in the house or anything. She's like, oh my gosh, here, and gave me literally two garbage bags full of yarn. I was just like, where did this come from? But that's how she kept it, was in garbage bags. I mean, I'm now better, really. I mean, I keep mine in big cardboard boxes. I have two cardboard boxes, big ones, like the medium size that you get at Lowe's. The, both of them are the medium size. They are full of yarn, which is how I can just go back there and grab all these random colors. And I didn't want to use the same colors I used for the Florida Pride one. It just felt like that they're a little too vibrant. And if you take a look at the picture, you now these are sort of muted. I mean, obviously the orange is like, whoa in your face, day glow orange. <laughs> Actually, something I need to check here. Okay, cool. Oh, that's not a good sign. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the lights are flickering. It's LA and it's hot, which means we might have brownouts. So I'm 
actually a little worried that we might get cut off. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a short stream today because of uh, the interview I have. That means I'm going to have to turn off as many electronic devices as I can when I leave. Oh, brownouts. Alright, so let's count around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. One more makes 18. Alright, I got that. Um, decrease 1. Single crochet 1 decrease one, so down to twelve. Um, okay. So, I single crochet one, and then I skip one. That's the decrease. So, basically every other one. Single crochet one, we'll skip that stitch, and then we'll go into this next one. I am so glad that I changed the uh, the focus on the, the camera. The camera that was on the hands, I, I watched back some of those videos and noticed that it just it, everything looked fuzzy. So when I went and checked the focus on it, it was all out of whack. I was like, you have a keyboard to focus on. Like it's not like that. There's nothing there. But even when I turned it back to autofocus, it would still make everything super fuzzy. Um, so if I ever want to show you anything, I don't think I can bring it up to the camera like this, I'd have to bring it up to my face camera um, because it won't autofocus on it. Alright, so single crochet one there and then skip one for the decrease. And then single crochet one And then the decrease. So when I get to the green marker again, I should be at 12. Single crochet one. And decrease. And single crochet one. Decrease. Single crochet one. And decrease. Bring us right back to our stitch marker. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and this one would make 12. This last one here, 12. Alright, tells us to change color. And then all these are going to be fastened off with long tail stuff firmly as you go, ne leave near the end lightly stuffed. I don't know if she means the end is in like the hand end, because this is our first little hoof, which I should probably bring that tail on inside. It doesn't need to be out there. Alright, that's on the inside now. So that's one little hand of our giraffe. Alright, switch colors, and sounds like orange is the next one. So, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do my color change here. One of them was the, uh, what I've heard called, what they called the invisible one, where you just work it right on in. Um, and that's probably what I'll do. And that's kind of how I did the intarsia stuff also. You just start it up again. 
which is a little scary because I put my scissors out where I could find them, didn't I? Um, it's a little scary because it's not actually knotted in place. Um, this one I think I'm going to since it's going to be going to a child who will most likely be playing with it, hopefully. Um, and, uh, you know, actually getting the maximum amount of enjoyment out of a toy. So, let's do that, stuff that in there. However, we will be starting, we're working it right into the same, the last one there, so then there's the knot on the end of it. And grab our orange. Oh, I don't know how these pull out. I don't know if these are center pull. I would think they are. The instructions on these. The ones that these have used, uh, like they're other people started them already. Made in Canada from 100% U.S. cotton. Okay. Alright, well, I'll have to figure this out. One of these is an end, and it's not really an end. Okay. I feel like I need to take this off to figure out what the heck is going on. Maybe I'll just take it from here. If it's center pull, awesome. I'll learn that later. Okay, so we're going to pull this one through here. Yeah, it probably is a center pull thing. I'm just being a little stubborn at the moment. And I'll regret it later. And I need to run 12. Now since I decreased, it's a pretty harsh decrease. This is a... Uh, I'm going to have to fish for the, the insides there. Alright, so that first one's pretty loose. Right now I'm just trying to get this through so I can pull this tighter. I'm actually going to tie it together. Like I said, this one's going to a child, so I do want these knotted. I'm going to keep them, the knots on the inside, of course. But... Um, and since it's also getting stuffed, I'm not going to worry about weaving my ends in because they're all just going to be inside that arm anyway. So that's... Oh no, I, did I lose it already? Oh no, that's just the thing I did. Okay, so here's one. Stitch number one of the orange. Gotta dig in there for number two. Cotton does not slide along itself as nicely as the uh, the acrylic does, so I gotta gotta work it a little more, gotta tease it a little more. Is that four? It's three or four. I'm hoping that the uh, second row will be a little easier now that I'm pulling out the uh, the white stitches that kind of curl in on themselves. Revlobot. If nothing else, I won't be lonely because Revlobot is here. Alright.
Alright, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 2 more stitches. We'll complete the first colored round here. Except I'm pulling through the white and that's not, that's no bueno. The 12th one will be across the first knot we made. So that's going to be a little tougher to get in. There we go. Row. Well, round one of the colored stuff. Hooray. The thing is, I asked Eloise at Christmas time what animal she wanted next, and she said giraffe. So, I hope she remembers that, because I'm going to give this to her for her birthday. But then I had Sarah, my sister, ask her again what she, an animal she wanted. She said monkey. So, and one, one thing she did say was that, you know, Eloise loves colorful things. She loves all the colors. She could, if her, fav her favorite color is the rainbow, I think, uh, so... That's why we are making this giraffe for Eloise. And uh, next one I make, uh, Josephine will have to wait a little longer. Josephine's birthday's in June. But if she wants a giraffe also, I'll make her another giraffe. But I will ask her what, what animal she wants. They're both going to get monkeys for Christmas. So they are three and, oh my god, six? I think that's how old the oldest is going to be. It's going to be six. It's crazy. So we are at one, two, three, and this is four, starting five. And 12. Now I get to switch to our next color, which is, and you know, I bet I don't have to go by the colors that she necessarily listed in here, but they are sufficiently randomized for my taste, and I am not good at being random. So, next color is blue. The yarn end is in here, which means that the pull end is here. Somewhere inside the yarn, there is an end. An end for my project. So I can finish it. Someday I'll find this little and ha ha, there it is. Oh no, it does have to be pulled out here. Oh no! So this end was in the wrong side. It didn't look like it was. Wow. 
Okay, so I managed to pull that all the way through there. Such a soft blue yarn, though. So soft. So soft. And when you add it in, you wait till you get to the uh, the very last pull through of your single crochet stitch. And I do want to tie them together, so let me make it just a little bit longer. I do want to do the first whole stitch in blue and then tie it off. Personal preference. Kind of anchor it. With the orange. Come on the inside, just like intarsia. Can't really do intarsia with it in the round. I mean, maybe you could. Uh, well, yeah, you could do it in the round. Um, but there's, I'm not planning on carrying any of this yarn over, and it's not really a design on the outside. So, all right, got first two stitches there, and time to tie them. Oh, I did not make that orange long enough. It's okay. We'll go around the orange. The blue is long enough, though. So while I do have a couple years of crocheting underneath my belt, uh, I, I kind of got lazy with it and did sort of the same types of things over and over again. So I didn't really learn much new. Um, so now I'm actively challenging myself to do new things. And do them right, not just kind of cheat and be like, oh, well, it's it's okay, it's good enough, I'm still kind of new at this. It's, yeah, no, I want to do it right now. Patient enough. Well, I'm not patient enough, but I need to be patient enough. Uh, one gal I was watching yesterday, a little blue box, who's sewing on the, the little appliques of pepperonis and mushrooms onto a pizza scarf she was making for someone. But she's like, I hate this project. I have a love-hate project. I have a relationship with this project. I mean, I like the person, but I just don't want to do this. But I want to do it for them. I was like, I'm totally there. I get it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Eight. So my phone is currently on the charger. I'm going to this to uh, this place is like 45 minutes away. Actually, I should double check how far it is away. I checked last night at like 10 o'clock at night how far away this place was. And I should probably check again because Google will, you know, account for traffic. And this isn't a pretty heavily trafficked part of town, so checking, you know, on a Tuesday night is not really indicative of what the daily commute traffic is going to be like. And this yarn, this blue, is slightly, ever so slightly variegated, but it's enough blue that I'm not too worried about it. Like, it doesn't go straight to white at any point, so it's not going to get confusing. Um, I think if I had a, vi a extremely variegated yarn, I should just do the whole, um, whole 
I was going to say monkey, this is a giraffe. A little giraffe in it. Um, change color every two rows. So it needs to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 16 plus 7. Okay, 23, yeah, so she, she had the, I mean, of course she probably has the colors and stuff, right? I just wanted to make sure that they were not just color ideas, and she was actually listing colors to be used, which is what she did. So, oh dear. Now I'm on top of blue again. So, let's see, I just started that. One, two, three, here's four. And five. Six. Seven. that pull through because that's when I put the new color in. Alright, blue, pink. So we're going with the pink. That's pink. I ordered some of this yarn. Uh, like I said, I, I get them off eBay and the one batch I got actually smells like smoke. Uh, so I'm going to have to wash this pretty well before it goes to any kid. I may have to wash the pieces separately though too, which is going to be a little strange. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, so I gotta put this through the two blues. Blue comes on the inside. The pink will be pulled through. And then we're gonna put the pink through the next one that goes through, which is this guy over here. I gotta make sure it's the right one I'm getting in. It's a good movie, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Let the right one in. And this pink should also be under here. Just kind of fudge it. I want it under there before I pull it tight, and that way it, again, like the blue, anchors it in on the correct side. Okay. I'm still obviously a little awkward with changing colors and such there. I can't, it'll be very interesting when I start working with smaller stuff. One of my goals when I first learned to crochet, I wanted to make lace, which I knew would be a challenge because it's so tiny, so tiny. And then I was looking around, you know, crochet stuff, whatever, and recently I found out about tatting. Oh my god, tatting. <laughs> it looks so amazing. It also looks like you'll go cross-eyed from trying to do it. <laughs> All right, cut off the blue. Okay, okay. Oh, anyway, what I was saying about my phone charging, there's a reason for mentioning that. I should probably, for the this interview I go, I'm going to, I should probably look up some of the stuff that they want me to do. And, you know, to sort of get a refresher on it. But I'm going down there three hours, like I'm leaving the house three hours early. It's approximately, and I'm guessing even with traffic, it'll take an hour to get down there. 
Um, and then I'm planning on hanging out like a Starbucks or something. There is a Starbucks nearby. Hanging out at Starbucks, just chilling on my phone, like reading and getting familiar with some of the, the softwares that they, they talk about. softwares and folder structures and transferring files maybe you know brushing up and remembering some little Linux commands <laughs> Actually, I'm going to look up a little bit of that now, just for my sanity. I know I have a... Yeah. Script on some of this stuff. It's not really a script, it's just command line stuff and step-by-step -step instructions how to use it. The blue. I accidentally picked up some of the blue. Actually, this pink and blue together looks really nice. Dang it, blue. We're done with you for now. Alright, now I'm going to actually start counting. One. Uh, if I stop splitting the yarns, too. Three, four, five, Six. Ah, little hook. Yarn's just a touch too big for it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Huh. Got some extra fuzzies on here that are wrapped around the yarn. Get those off. Alright. And pull through 12. And not pull through that last one. The next color is... I should probably kind of stick these, stick these in here as I go along. Done with that color, done with this color for now. 
Of course, as they go in that direction, I'll be pulling them out opposite direction. Tan. Pretty sure I have one of these already open. No idea where it's at, though. Like I said, my, my yarn is all in... Um, cardboard boxes at the moment. Alright, so this guy is all the way over here. That's funny because I think I see the end out here. Oh, and there's just lots of fuzzies. This is a very soft yarn. Very soft, very light. 100% acrylic. Alright, so this got a little messy. It's I'm going to dig in here. Hopefully I'm pulling it out of the correct side. Or maybe I'm not, because it's pulling the whole thing with it. So I guess we'll pulling from this side. Yeah, so far most of my streams have been me, like, fighting with yarn. Alright, well... That's the major guts of it. This is just a frickin' shell now. But since I pulled it out this way, I don't wanna... I need to continue pulling out the same direction, otherwise... Oh man, this thing was such a mess. I'm gonna need a yarn ball winder to fix this. Which I don't have. Okay. Although one of my friends said she was thinking about getting one. I should go talk to Alicia. Alright. That would explain a little bit of my issues here. This is... Look at that. One of the smallest gains I've had, and it's just a huge freaking mess on the inside. Alright. All this for two little rows on a old giraffe's like... I don't even say elephant this time. What's wrong with me? Do you know what you're making? Do you know what you're doing? No, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm following these little instructions. It's like cooking. I'll just do what the paper tells me to do. Actually, I feel like this might not be 12, because the other ones line up here. And this one does not. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, although the numbers say I do. somehow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, well, I'm going to go line up with everything else over there. After I make sure I have all the little threads of yarn. extra two stitches somehow? I don't know how that happens. I mean, maybe I just don't know how to count. It's a possibility. Alright. So pull this through. And add in this. It's also, also a very soft one, much like the, uh, the blue. Very thin. pink on the inside. Just move the whole pink ball over here. Into my lap.
Actually, I'm going to cover with the brown because it's not nearly as tough as the pink is. So I just want to make sure it's fully holding that pink down before I tie them off. That's quite a bit of variations in what, I, what I've chosen for my colors. I chose by color, not by weight. Although for the, the Florida Pride one, I made sure to like get the same weight and same brand, so... Except for the orange, which wouldn't. I went back to the store, they didn't have orange anymore, probably because they were all crap. Alright, now the instructions do stay, say to stuff firmly as you go along. I feel I'm at the point now where I should start stuffing. I don't want to stuff too high though, because then you end up start pulling it out, and then the, the it looks fuzzy. It has a little a little white thing sticking out of it. So. All right. So far, we got a little bit of a, a giraffe leg here. I'm going to do one row of the brown, the tan here, and then I'm going to stuff it a little, and then I'm unfortunately going to have to get going. This uh, time's flying by today. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll finish the stuffing. I won't finish the, the tan round because coming back to a project and then having to change colors immediately just sets a terrible tone. Uh, so I'm going to leave the, uh, the second row of tan here to be, to be done when I get back. I think I'm more excited about finishing this than I am about going to the interview. I kind of want to go to the interview and not get the job. I mean, getting a job would be nice. I just, I don't know. I just think I feel better if I, I went and tried and not probably because it validates my feel, feelings of failure, <laughs> which is a problem in itself. All right. I mean, talking to an empty Twitch stream also isn't uh, great for the self-esteem, but it sort of validates what I already think is true. Uh, so, get this last two stitches, one, two, and a third one just to cover the pink, we're just starting over again. Oh dear god, maybe that's how I ended up with extra stitches, there we go. I must have been including the knot as a separate one and then the other one. That's probably how I came up with those extra ones, so we'll try and not, not include the knot. Alright, so a little bit of stuffing in here. I have some little, actually I'll leave the little baggies of stuffing, I have my big bag right under here. So I'll just do a little bit of stuffing this time. Make a big, long, well actually, I'll put the stitch marker in it. So in case it gets pulled, it won't pull out. So I'll put this little wad in here. Alright. So yeah. And maybe we'll wait because I do want to stick all of the chunk in at once. I don't think all of it's gonna fit in here at, at this size.
Oh, maybe it will. Maybe a little forceful with it. But yeah, like I said, I don't want the, uh, um, the little white bits to stick out. I'm not getting anything caught in there. Well, I'll need for later. So this is the, the beginning of the first arm of the giraffe. So it's actually gonna be kinda big. I mean if this is an arm, if you want proportional, the giraffe would probably be like this tall. Decent sized stuffed animal. For a six year old. Take a look at that pattern again. Blue, pink, orange, blue, pink, tan, green. Yeah, this is a bunch of random colors. Random as heck colors. Well, the ears are orange. Alright, well, I do need to get going. Do responsible stuff, like try to get a job. And I hope to see you guys all later. Um, when I come back, I hope to just pick up this, pick this up again, and start streaming again. Uh, if it's too, if it's like a really stressful experience or stressful driving, um, or if I'm too tired, I've been, excuse me, I've been very, very tired lately. Might just go back and pass out. Don't talk about being tired. Um, I might just come back and pass out, or. Um, to play some World of Warcraft or something. Yeah, I know I was trying to get 50k gold last month for my monthly subscription. I don't think I'm going to try that hard again to do it. Uh, I really stopped having fun with the game. So, uh, I'm just going to do what's actually fun. Alright, unfortunately I do have to go. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. And, uh, I'll be back. Soon. <laughs> Hopefully. And, uh, see you later.